So there was, the, like, Saturday night, there was this big uh, hullabaloo about having to go to this ancient place, this ancient tomb, and, you know, um... Oh, wait, I should fill you in on this first. So there's an ancient library. There's an ancient library that opened up over the course of the weekend, and lots of people went there and asked questions of the librarian who was there, like, and they, it's just like... It's just like this this old sort of like magical sustained librarian who's going to disappear. Like think of it as a com the computer system of the library, but the magic version, the librarian and, and he was answering one question for for pretty much everybody who went there and like and like um giving them some kind of reference. Uh I went there and I asked about eternal life. I said like is there any way to live forever? Um and, they, and he gave me a scroll. It's all wrapped up with a little bow. And said, don't open this. Sleep with it under your pillow. Basically. If you open it, bad things might happen to your brain. Was basically what he said. He didn't say it that way. It was Bryce playing like a computer system. So he was like, caution. You know, and like all this other stuff. And, and you know, gave me gave me the scroll. And said like that'll tell you that'll tell you what to, what to do, but to absorb the information you have to sleep with it under your pillow. I was like, okay, cool. Don't open it. Sleep with it under my pillow. Gotcha. And then you know, so I had that scroll with me. And then Saturday night, that library was like, oh, there's bad things coming out of the library. We gotta go there and check it out. So a whole bunch of people went there in the dark. And and uh, like went to this went to this library cave place, uh, and there was a necromancer in there. But it turned into a conversation with a necromancer instead of the killing of a necromancer. So I got bored at the back of the at the back of the thing and went back towards town, or you know the little camp that we had. And while I was coming back with my friend Casil, um, we heard fighting at camp, and so we ran up there and like these two people were were just finishing like sleeping. Uh, two of our friends. And so I, I like, I like, oh, I still had my contingency sleep on my stick from the, from the witch. So I slept one of them with the stick. Um, and then the other one ran away and we managed to save the people who were at camp. And then the people at camp told us there was like a cult thing going on, like over there. And, and I, I went, okay, I'm going to go help. I'm going to go, <coughs> I'm going to go check it out. You, you fix everything here. I'm going to go look for, look for what's going on. So I ran off towards where I'd been told there was cult stuff going on, and I'm sneaking through the dark as Tawny. Uh, I've got a gas globe in my hand ready. I've prepped it up. It's an inner rage gas globe, so if I hit someone, they'll start attacking people at random, basically. Because um, I thought, okay, if I run into like more than one cultist, this is the only way that I'm going to live. Uh, if they start fighting each other. And so I'm sneaking up on this campfire I can see with all these like tiki torches around it. I'm sneaking up on this campfire, and I can hear voices. Um, <clears throat> and they sound like the voices of my friends, but you never know in LARP because, like, they might be on an NPC shift or they might be, like, playing something else for that small period of time or whatever. But I'm, I'm sneaking up on them, and I get right up next to them, like, just quietly walking up in the dark, right up next to them, and I can see Dracus. So I go, like, oh, okay, it's okay. There's, there's no cultists here. And I go, Dracus, what's happening? He says, like, the cultists summoned the Huntsman. They managed to get through a ritual to summon him. So the Huntsman will be here. At some point soon. And I was thinking like, oh, motherfuck. Right? Like, the Huntsman? That's like the fey creature that I had to use a death gas globe on last time to kill. Like, that's a problem. <coughs> And I don't, I don't, I don't have any more death gas globes right now. No more slow death gas globes. Ah, uh, cool. All right. So we went back to town and then I met up with Auric, uh, the other alchemist who had been putting stuff on the like tree stump, you know, for the, for the, the nightshade elves and thought like, Auric, let's go to the tree stump and we'll wait for a nightshade elf to talk to us. We'll just wait there and somebody will talk to us eventually. And then we'll ask them to help. We'll ask them to help because I bet they have stuff they could give us that we could use against the huntsman. And and Auric was like, Of course, yeah. Totally. Let's do it. So we went we went to plot camp and we said, like, okay, so we're standing near the the nightshade tree stump, and we're just gonna wait until someone talks to us. That's the that's the whole idea. We're just gonna stand around 
and wait. Um, and they're like, okay, cool. So we waited for like maybe 15 minutes at plot because there was like people doing other stuff and they didn't have time for us uh, just then. But it was just us like role playing together about like waiting in the woods for something to happen. And then eventually uh, a female, a girl walks up to us, um, a nightshade elf and says like, what? What do you want? She said like, well, I've been putting things here the whole the whole time. I was I was hoping I could speak to the matron because there's some big problems. And she goes like, Foolish girl, nobody speaks to the matron. Even we hardly speak to the matron. You know? Oh, okay, well, maybe you can help. And she goes like, all right, what do you want? And I'm like, well, the huntsman is coming. Like, the fey leader of the hunts, you know, through through the fey realm, they're coming. And I've already beat them once, but I need a, I need a death gas globe to do it. One for each of us, please. If you can spare them so that we can fight against the Huntsmen. I mean, it's dangerous for you too because, like, it's supernaturally good at hunting. And I know you're good at hiding, but I don't want you to get caught. And she goes like, I'll see what I can do. And disappears for a bit. And we wait a little more. And she comes back and she goes, here, take these. And she gives us each a slow death gas globe. Sorry. Which is like, you throw it at someone, uh, and 60 seconds later, they die. Like, they're choking, and, and like, they know they're going to die really soon. It's like, 60 seconds, and then they die. Uh, so they gave gave me an auric, a slow death gas globe. And, and then, basically, like, I went to bed. Because I thought, like, okay, if it wakes me up, I'll gas globe it right in the face. But, like, I can't do anything else. So I went to bed and I got woken up at one point that was like the huntsman's here and I got woken up and I and I rolled over and I got my my gas globes and I stepped outside and the huntsman was killed. I didn't need to kill it. Somebody else killed it. I heard later it was a nightshade elf that came by and like stabbed it with an instant death alchemy. So I'm glad I went to the nightshade to, to get them to help. Um, which is awesome. It's cool. And it's, it's nice to see like that kind of stuff paying off, you know, L lateral thinking so to speak. <coughs> oh, not, not a good feeling. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, so we, we managed to, managed to defeat the Huntsman, which is good. I'm hoping at some point I get to talk to the Nightshade Matron, because I feel like that would be a fun conversation. Um, okay, what else? What else? Uh, huntsman, cult stuff, that stuff. All right. And the last, the last thing is the la what happened in the last, uh, the last mod of the night. So in the last mod of the night, uh, or the last mod of the day, like on Sunday. So the last mod of the day, it was time for a big fight. There was like an orc pirate ship that had moored and they were like coming to attack us, basically. And there was this whole thing where they were throwing, like, foam dodgeballs as, like, cannonballs. Yelling, like, incoming! Throw it, and it's, like, 50 massive if it hits you. And some of them released, like, fire elementals and stuff. It was really scary. It was a really, really scary fight. And I ended up, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with this big fire elemental that was swinging for 12 elemental fire. Which is death if it hits you. Not your bleed count, death count if it, if it kills you. Elemental does death count. So it's swinging 12 elemental fire, and I'm poking it for one normal, and there's other people poking it for, like, one or two normal, you know, and we're we're trying to, like, herd this thing. Uh, and then suddenly it goes magic hellfire and throws a packet at me, and it hits me dead in the chest, and I'm like, hellfire. Uh, rip. Like, I, I just fall over. And people are like, ah, oh, Tony's down, you know, and, like, some people come, and they do, you know, somebody checks me and goes, like, anatomy, uh, one, two, three, like, are, are you in your bleed count? No. Are you in your death count? Yes. You know? And so I'm, I'm dying, basically. Like, i and there aren't a lot of life spells in our game right now. Um, but I, I'm, I'm dying. And so they pick me up and they, they drag me over to, like, where they're getting people healing. Uh, and they say, like, Tawny's down, she needs a life spell. And one of the physicians comes over and it's like, five minutes, extend your death count. Like, starts, starts doing CPR. 
uh, and I'm lying there just waiting, just waiting. I've got my eyes closed. I can't see what's happening. And somebody comes over and goes like, uh, I can't remember who it was who lifed me, but somebody lifed me. Um, yeah, somebody lifed me. I think it was Adeline. Oh, no, it was a scroll harvest from um, Kalena, an Ajanti Templar. So she, she used the life scroll and harvested the scroll. So she didn't burn it, so we still have it. Harvested the scroll and cast life on me. She almost miscanted it, which would have been horrible. But I got life, and I'm, I'm, I wake up, I'm, like, coughing and spluttering, and I'm picking myself up, and there's orcs everywhere. I've had my eyes closed. I can't see anything. And I've, I've dropped my stick somewhere, because when you die, you drop your, you know, like, you can't hold on to your weapon as you're, like, being dragged. Like, I dropped it back where I died somewhere. Um... And, and, uh, and there's, there's an ogre with, like, a <coughs> fighting with the legion, and there's, like, another ogre over there, and there's fire, still a fire elemental, like, things are fucking crazy, and, and shit is getting wrecked up, like, real bad, um, and our big fighters are, are having a hard time, and I'm, I'm trying to get to people and feed them, uh, health potions, you know, um, and, 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 like, try and get people back on their feet, but, Sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not. I'm dodging in and out. And I get cornered by these orcs, basically, like, where I can't, I can't really do anything. You know, I'm, I'm stuck. Uh, and I'm backing up and I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying to like throw acid at them because I have some gas globes um, that I'm, that I, that I had available, like acid globes. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to back up into a corner. And then I hear from behind me a voice. It's Bryce, one of the shapers, with a white headband on, okay? And he goes, if you need help, I can help. You know? He goes, if you need help, I can help. And I'm backing up, and I'm having a hard time, like, keeping shit off of me, and I go like, yep, yep, help, 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 you know, like, talking to something. Um, and, uh... I had, I had thought that it was a voice in my head because my scroll had popped open during the night and I thought maybe, like, I'd gone crazy, right? The scroll that I was told not to open, under my pillow, it popped open. So, you know, they hadn't resolved that yet. So I thought that's what it was. And he's like, if you need help, I can help. And I'm like, yep, 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 help, help, help. And he goes, all right. And then goes over to the NPC who's, like, approaching me and goes, like, sleep. And he just falls over asleep. I'm like, oh, oh, thank you. Can, can we, can we help my, can we help my friends? My friends, they're hurt. I need to, I need to help them, you know? And I'm kneeling down over the, like, Eduardo's corpse, like, one of my long-standing friends, you know? Kneel down over him, like, trying to, trying to fix him, but he's dead, and I don't, my potions don't work on the dead, and, and he goes like, sure, we can fix them. And then whispers in my ear, you can cast Dark Pact. And I go, uh, yeah, I summon a hex grant dark pact. And, and he goes, I accept and gets back up. And suddenly I know a letter of his true name. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, all right. I gotta, I, what about that? We got to save him too. And I like go over and this is, you know, a hippie kickers character, this new minotaur on the ground, like dying. And I'm like, come on, we did it one time. Can we do it another time? And he's like, you can cast Dark Pact. And I go, I summon a Hexagrant Dark Pact. And he gets up. <laughs> like, like, oh, uh, okay. All right. And then, and then stuff attack, like is coming to attack me, you know? It's coming to attack me and I'm, I'm really worried and scared. I'm like trying to hit it. And he goes like, I, I can help you. I'll help you again. Here, active horror aura. And activates like on me a horror aura, which is like 10 feet around me. You're terrified. You can't get close to me, right? Like, unless you have some way to beat fear, you cannot get close to me. Um, because I have a, an aura of horror. Um, and so, and so suddenly I'm going like active horror and like, you know, I'm showing that I'm, I'm scary and like players are going like, ah, and like backing away from me and, and enemies are like backing up and, and the orcs are still coming cause they're immune to fear. But then, uh, but then the voice in my head starts going like contingency sleep and like putting it on my, uh, oh no, I didn't have my stick at the time. And he's like, where's your stick? You need your stick need to get your stick and i think i'm going crazy right like tawny's like out of her mind going like okay okay i need i need my stick where's my stick and i'm like going up to people going like i need my staff you know like where's 
where's the wappity stick? You know, and, and, <laughs> and because I have this horror aura, they're like, ah, oh God, Tony, what the hell? You know, like, and backing up and like not answering my questions. So I walk into the house looking for it and I'm like pushing everybody aside with my aura because they can't stand near me. Um, while they're still fighting and like shit's going on, I go into the house looking for my stick. And there's this one mage at the back of the house who's like stuck there because my aura is like pinned him to the back of the house, basically. Um, and uh, I'm looking around for my stick and I see he has a staff. I don't have a staff and the, the, the voice in my head is still going like, you need a stick, I need you to have a stick, you need a stick, I can't do it without a stick. There's nothing I can do until you get your stick. And I'm like, okay, I can't get my stick. Where's my stick? And I'm in this mage's face, this like, this mage I don't really know very well. And, and he's going like, ah, oh God, no, don't hurt me. Ah, you're so, you know, like, cause I'm scary. I'm scary. I'm a scary Tawny. Um, and, uh, and he's not answering my questions, so I just go, give me yours! Give me your stick! And, like, take his staff, and he's like, nah, don't hurt me! He just gives it over, and I run outside and, and head towards any orc I see, and, and, uh, and, you know, Bryce is still on my shoulder, and he's going, like, contingency sleep on the staff, and I go, like, contingency sleep on, on, uh, whatever hits, and sleep and then i'm looking around for the next thing contingency sleep like trying desperately to like save my friends and keep everything good um but yeah the whole thing the whole thing ended the whole thing ended and i cast so much witchcraft by accident basically tawny doesn't know what those spells are like academically she's not aware that witchcraft is witchcraft you know what i mean like she's not a mage she can't even read so being able to suddenly cast spells is like, okay, I'll save my friend. Okay, I'll save my friend. Uh, okay, I'll put him to sleep. Because, I mean, I'm not killing him. I'm just putting him to sleep. It's fine, you know? That kind of stuff. Um, and so I, at the end of the fight, I still have this horror aura because it's like a 10-minute aura or, or whatever. Bri Bri it's not really a spell. Like Horror works differently than what Bryce said, but I was like, okay, so it's a horror aura. So I'll have it up until he tells me it's not up, right? And so I'm walking around at the end of the fight going like, is everybody okay? Is everybody all right? Active horror, you know? And they're like, Tawny, what's wrong? You know, like, I don't know. I, somebody, somebody helped. I don't know who they are, but some somebody, there's a voice. It told me to do stuff and I saved people. I saved him and I saved him and I saved that person. You know, like, <laughs> just, just innocent little Tawny with this scary aura. Um, and eventually, uh, you know, Bryce is talking to my ear and he's like, Oh, oh, I'm tired now. Oh, that was a lot to do. Don't you think, don't you think that was a lot to do? I think that was too much to do. I think you should, I think you should take a break. You know, I think you should rest. And, and, and I'm like, Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's just, oh, just sit down here and, oh, just lie in the grass. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's nice and relaxing. Active horror. Like, I'm, I'm just lying there, like, fucking totally just napping out. And I've got this scary aura going on. And eventually the aura fades and people, uh, Adeline comes over. And she's like, Tawny, we need to have a serious talk. I'm like, what? What? I'm napping, you know, like all lethargic and, and full of naps. And, and, uh, Bryce has just said like, all you hear in your head now is just like yawning sounds and like, and like, you know, lazy stretching, that kind of thing. Um, and then, and then she goes, you have to come with me. You have to come with me right now. And I'm like, I don't want to, I just want to sleep, you know? And she's like, well, you don't have a choice. Like, you pick her up, you know, and like talk to one of the minotaurs who who's like has strength ability, you know, strength ability. He's like with plus three strength, I pick you up, you know. And I'm like, no, ah, stop, get off, stop it. And and then and he's like, well, you're coming, you're coming, whether you want to or not, Tawny, to have this conversation. I'm like, fine. I just go limp in his hands, like. At least I don't have to do stuff, you know, and get get dragged off to a little private corner. 
uh, where Adeline's about to have a talk with me about all the bad, nasty things I did. Um, and Bryce has wandered back over and he's going like, they don't, you don't have to do stuff if you don't want to. They don't get to make you do stuff. That's very rude. You know, that's very rude. You know? I'm like, yeah, I agree. Making me do stuff is stupid. <laughs> Tawny's all being all lazy. And I get put down and Adeline starts talking and she's like, Tawny, what you did back there, you can't do that. Whatever you're talking to, you need to stop talking to it. And I'm like, but they're nice and they helped me and they made everything better. All, everything is better. You know, like I saved Eduardo. I saved Tiberius. I saved lots of people. You know? Um, and she goes like, well, you can't do that. And we're going to talk about why. And then suddenly there's a call from from like far away that's like, worshippers of Tizoth and Vesmir, we need you here now. And Adeline, who's a worship, who's like the lead worshipper of Tizoth, is like, <sighs> I have to go and do this. We'll, but we're going to talk. And I go like, oh, what a shame. You have to go and do things. Go on, then. Go do stuff. I'm going to nap right here where you put me. And then, and then just get comfy in the grass again. Take a little nap. Take a little nap, ski. And, and the game ended. I stayed right there. I didn't move. The game ended while I was... While I was having a nap, basically. Um, I mean, I actually, I might have done some stuff after, but none of it was super important. The important thing was that, like, all that witchcraft stuff happened, and it was crazy. I got a letter of Eduardo's true name, and I got a letter of um, Tiberius's true name, which is crazy, because I got nothing I can do with them. Zero things. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not magic. Like, I have no magic. So... It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. And L Lethargo. I, I assume it's Lethargo that was talking to me. I assume it's Lethargo. But he never told me his name. So, I don't know. Um, so, I, I, you know, the game ended. Tawny did everything she could to save her friends. I didn't mean for it to go in a, like, a malicious or evil way. I love that it did, because the idea of, like, unknowingly doing these things is way cooler than, you know, like, how she generally was. Um, sort of completely, completely oblivious to what she's doing. Whereas Aaron is, like, totally cognizant of the fact that she's bargaining with dark powers. Um, Tawny doesn't understand that these things are not nice, and that they aren't good and that they aren't there to help her you know what exactly is dark pact dark pact is a life spell it'll bring you back from death but they have to choose to give you a letter of their true name yeah demon tawny play of the game heroes never die for a price yeah it's true it's true demon tawny play of the game and now, and, and, and it just sparked me thinking about what, like, various evil, types of evil Tawny would be. Like, I would love to see Vampire Tawny, you know? Vampire Tawny would be the best thing ever. Because she'd be, like, the fucking most innocent vampire ever. It'd be one of those things where it's like, hey, look what I can do. You know? Or, or, um, or, uh, you know? Gaze attack dominate. Bring me a snack. Stuff like that. Like, evil Tawny would be the best. Like, undead Tawny, vampire Tawny. It'd be so good. I'd love to see it. Vampire Tawny sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, I agree. It would be super cool. Um, though I think the vampire template is really overpowered and just generally a problem. Um... In some circumstances, it's one of the biggest biggest problems in Kalidor right now. Um, you really gotta trust who you give it to. So you know, I hope, I hope I'm trusted. But also, you know, I don't know. I also did some really nice stuff this game, like Denarthos worshiping stuff and and 
like replanting trees that the orcs cut down and like naturey things. So that's that's kind of great. Um yeah. Yeah. So we'll see where that leads for Tawny. Um she has the ability to learn magic, but she has to learn how to read first. Just learn how to read. She'd have to learn how to read magic. There's a lot. There's a lot that would go into that. And with 13 levels of alchemy already, like it's a huge investment to learn magic. Um, and I wonder if Lethargo will talk to me again. What I want to do is talk to the witch who who serves Lethargo, Pigromo. I want to talk to him again. I want to be like, hey, I think your person talked in my brain. Also, I want to see what happens for the fact that I unrolled the scroll by accident while I was sleeping. And what that's going to do to my poor brain. Because that's going to do something, too. Basically, Tawny's just like, she's done lots of stuff she shouldn't have done. And it's going to be bad. The consequences are going to be dire. We'll see what they end up being. But I'm really excited to find out. It was a really good game. Uh, full of full of exciting stuff. Yeah. There you go. That's the LARP stories for today. If you're here with the LARP stories, they're done now. I know some of you are just kind of 